Hi, this is a new video where we talk about awesome.NET MAUI community libraries. When creating certain kind of applications, choose the controls to use. It's a very important decision. Controls like, for example, swipe view and gestures on mobile are more important than on desktop, while on desktop controls like a data grid and allowing easy data management are necessary in many cases. In this video, we are going to talk about MAUI Data Grid, a library that adds a data grid controls to .NET MAUI. Let's see it. MAUI Data Grid is a data grid library for .NET MAUI applications. Support all the platforms supported by .NET MAUI, Android, iOS, Catalyst, Windows, and Tyson. And it's a library created by Ebu Akgul. And as always, we are going to see, first of all, the sample application running with the library and all the possibilities. And then we are going to see how to use it, what are the properties, events, etc., and how internally it is created, how it works at the end. So let's start by taking a look to the sample. This is a sample provided by the library. And yeah, we have here a data grid running in this case on Windows. And we can manage different things. First of all, of course, we can scroll the content while we still maintain the headers. We can uh, customize a little bit the headers showing if the borders are defined or not. We can, of course, select different fields. We can um, hide columns and show columns again or add new columns. At the same time, of course, we can use filter and organize items by columns. For example, let's see and organize the teams by um, the team that have more wins or the teams that have more lose. And yeah, it uh, has many possibilities, adding and removing columns, uh, use organizing the items by column, and uh, we have all the expected properties and item source properties to define the collection. We can change the collection dynamically. We can use select items, etc., etc. Once we have seen the sample running and working, let's see the code and all the properties. So this is the main sample. And to define and use the library, first of all, the library is available via Nugget package. It's called the package akul.maui.datagrid. The latest version is the .0 version. And after include this library, this Nugget package in your application, you can start using it using the main namespace that is maui.datagrid. After you use it, you can access to the data grid control in this way. And the main property is the item source property. This property allows us to define the collection to use as data of the data grid. With that, we can enable or disable the selection with the selection enable property. And if we enable the selection, we can get the selected item with the selected item property. We can define the row height and the header height with the row height and header height property respectively. And then we can customize the header background, the header border, the border color of every cell. If uh, the border of the uh, header is visible or not with the header borders visibility, etc. We can refresh the content with the uh, uh, pull to refresh command. And we have also a property to know if we are refreshing or not. And also we can manage the color of the active row. Once we define the main properties that define the content and the appearance of the data grid, we have options to define the columns. With the data grid columns property, we can define columns creating data grid columns. A data grid column contains at least two main properties that are the title property and the property name. And also we can create hidden columns that we can enable dynamically if it's visible or not with the his visible property. And also we can allow to sort the content using the sorting enable property. If we want to sort, we can enable it. And if 
have no sense because, for example, it's an image. Uh, for example, in this case with the logo, we can just disable the sorting like in this way. Then inside every data grid column, we can just use a formatted title to define the stream or the collection of spans that are defining the title, or we can use a data template using the cell template property where inside we can put anything, any view. It can be a content view and inside we can have a grid with different contents, etc. etc. Now let's see how we get the, the data. We have a view model that is returning from a JSON file, a list of themes that are uh, what we were seeing on the screen when we launched the application. And we have here the reference command and all the properties to bind and get the selected item if uh, we display the border in the header, etc., etc. To add and remove columns, we can access to the columns property and use the add and remove method to remove or add columns from all data grid. How is uh, it defined internally? This is also interesting in case you have doubt about virtualization and how it internally works. If we go to the data grid, we can see that it's a composition of uh, uh, .NET MAUI controls. At the end, it's a grid containing a refresh view. This is what allow us to use the pull to refresh command to refresh the data grid. And the data grid is defined by a collection view. So we have all the possibilities and uh, options from the collection view where in the item template of the collection view, we are using the data grid row that is a grid defined in a custom control with double properties to define the content and appearance and behavior. So this is how internally is defined the data grid. So at the end, the weight of all the data grids is based on the collection view. So that's it, a data grid control that you can use in also phone, in mobile applications, but probably is really, really interesting in desktop applications based on a composition of other controls with many properties to define the appearance with properties like the header background, the border color or the active row color, and also many possibilities to manage uh, the source, the selected item or who, how we allow to sort and manage the data. Available via Nugget and in all the supported platforms by .NET MAUI. I hope this library has been interesting for you. Share the result if you used it in your application. If you have any doubts or questions or you want to share which library you would like me to talk about in upcoming videos, leave a comment in this video. See you soon with more content. Bye.